Hello guys, welcome back. And so as you guys can see here, Zoya released more polishes. We have two things. We have the Cafe Dreams collection made up of six polishes and then we have the Metallics Dream Trio. So without further ado, let's get into them. And before you guys ask me, this polish that I'm wearing is a multi-chrome from the Live Love Polish brand, which does not exist anymore. So I won't, you know, I won't link it or anything because you cannot get it. So let's get into the swatches. One thing to keep in mind for all these swatches, these are a nightmare to swatch on my skin tone. And so the video is not gonna be color accurate. For color accuracy, I want you guys to look at the picture that's gonna be on the right hand side. Some of them are gonna be so different that you guys are gonna be like, wait, is that even the same polish? Yes, it is. So just look at the picture for the accuracy of the color. And the you know video on the left is more so you guys can see how the formula applies, how it self levels, the brush, all of that. So just keep that in mind, it's very important. All right. Here we have Ophelia, and this one's described by Zoya as a cool, moody, blackened brown cream. It's a good description, it's a pretty dark brown. Now, I do have to say that the first coat was streaky for me, but it evens out nicely on the second. Now, I do have the white brushes on all of these, so you know that white brushes make the application a little bit easier. So I really don't know how this one will behave if you have the thin brush only. So keep that in mind, but it's a beautiful color and it does go opaque and even perfectly at the second coat. Up next we have Constance and this one's described by Zoya as a deep plum cream with blue undertones. Fantastic formula. This one's gonna be a one quarter for a lot of people. If your nail, you know, is not too long and you can get away with it, maybe do a first coat that's not too thin, you're gonna be perfectly fine. The formula is fantastic. Up next we have Remington and this one's described by the brand as a creamy natural darkened rosewood brown. I mean, I don't know if it's like a, yeah, it's, it's an in-between a rose color and a brown color so pretty good middle point middle ground right there up next we have kaula kahula this one's described by zoya as a gingerbread brown with warm reddish undertones i think their descriptions are very very good um you know these are like all earthy tones that have like rose under there and they have like browns under there and some red tones here and there they're very gorgeous but they're very hard to photograph and film and everything so Again, look at the picture on the right, but yeah. This was a really neutral, really like classic color, but you know, it's not gonna work with all skin tones. It, it's gonna depend, so I guess you're gonna have to see if it works for you or not. So just keep, keep in mind that these are the lighter one, the lighter ones, this one and, and the one that's coming up next might not work for everybody. Up next, we have Biscuit. And when I said some of these don't work for everybody, I am everybody. This is, this, this does not work for me, but anyways. Soya describes it as a warm milky brown mocha with a peachy undertone and a creamy finish. Now it does feel like that. It does feel like a peach undertone is very obvious when you look at it. Now the video is really off. Focus on the picture for this one especially. Um, it was a regular good formula. It wasn't like, you know, amazing. Like for example, Constance or like the Remington, but it was good. It was good and opaque and it was, you know, much better than the Philia. So just a decent two coater. Next up from the lineup and the last one from the Cafe Dreams collection is Bonnie. And this one's described as a sheer and luminous rose gold topper, which can be worn alone or as a semi-textured glitter over your favorite Cafe Dreams polish. So, you know, as they say, you can wear it either as a topper or by, its, um, or by itself. It's, it, it goes well with all the other ones. Um, I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute how this one looks over all the other creams. And that's it, it's a good topper. Um, it's not gonna be opaque, you know, it's meant to be a topper, so just keep that in mind. All right, now changing into the Metallic Dreams collection or trio, the first one's Matilda. This is described as a metallic sweetheart pink submerged with gold shimmer. Such fancy words, it's just a pink with gold. <laughs> submerged with gold shimmer. It's really pretty. It doesn't go fully opaque for me at two, but it's wearable at two. I don't think I would go for three. It looks really gorgeous at two. And you can really see the gold in both the bottle and the nail. So fantastic formula, nothing to worry about. Gorgeous polish. Next up, we have Moki, and this one's described as an earthly olive metallic with golden undertones and micro glitter. Um, I'm trying to think about the earthly olive. I don't see olive. I'm sorry, but I see like a 
burnt, like super burnt gold or like a light brown metallic, possibly a gold with some sort of, I don't know. I don't know. It's not olive. It looks more like a light brown or like a very burnt gold. That's what I see here. Fantastic formula. This one's absolutely wearable at one coat. I did the two, but nothing changed. Like it, it looked perfect at one. So, you know, very good. All right, the third one from the trio is Amara, and this one's described as a gleaming, rich, chocolate brown metallic with copper undertones. Fantastic, fantastic brown metallic. I'm telling you, the formula, chef's kiss. I did two coats just to see what happened. Again, nothing happened. It looked just as good as it did on the first one, so I would definitely be okay wearing this one at one, but if anything, you would need at most two, not more than that. All right, so overall, pretty good collection. Um, I don't have anything negative to say other than this one is a little bit thin on the first coat, but it was fine on the second. Otherwise, pretty decent, solid collection. I hope you guys like this review. Thank you to the Zoya team for sending this to me as PR, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.